uh, and welcome to this uh, unit circle, another page in the unit circle. Uh, you'll notice that I put in the smaller uh, sizes the two special triangles that we just worked out the sides for, so the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle with the sides in red and the 45, 45, 90. So what we're going to do uh, on this page is a bit of review and a bit of new stuff. So uh, the review part is that we're going to be again filling out the uh, multiples of pi over 6 and pi over 4. So um, it's always good to get a little extra practice in that. The other piece that we're going to be doing is figuring out what the x and the y coordinates are. So uh, taking a look at the unit circle, here's uh, zero degrees, uh, zero degrees, and also in radians it would also be zero as well. So we're putting the the uh, the amount of rotation from the positive x-axis in degrees and in radians. So we start off and put zero degrees and zero radians. So over here we can put uh, 90 degrees, and if you recall, uh, this would be pi over two radians. At any point in time, if you know the number of degrees and uh, you wanted to convert to radians, so in this case if we knew it was 90 degrees, remember you can multiply by pi over 180. Uh, so in this case that would give us our pi over 2 radians, right? Uh, here this would be 180 degrees, or pi radians, and over down the bottom 270 degrees or pi or 3 pi over 2. Uh, very clumsy with this writer. Uh, now let's think about what the x and the y coordinates are and I'm going to do this in red. So again remember this is my x coordinate or this is my or my x axis so this is x over here. Uh, look for a place to put it. There's my x and, and this is my y right in, in quadrant number one uh, this is along the x-axis so it's not really quadrant one or quadrant two I'm gonna put the coordinates in uh, parentheses so I'm like this my x-coordinate is positive one and my y-coordinate is zero right because on the unit circle uh, this radius is always equal to one so the x value is one and the y value is zero uh, over here at 90 degrees now my x is going to be equal to 0 and my y will be equal to 1. So I think fairly quickly we can fill in these values. So my x is negative 1 and my y is 0. And over here, oh, I think I need to zoom out just 1. There we go. So over here my uh, x value will be 0 and my y value is negative 1. Okay, good so far. Now let's consider uh, all our multiples of 30 degrees, which is the same thing as pi over 6. So here's 30 degrees, okay, and that's the same thing as pi over 6. And not this one, because this is 45 degrees. Remember, this is 45. Those are all multiples of 45. So that's 1 pi over 6. This would be 2 pi over 6, but then we reduce that to pi over 3. Oh, you know what? We should put the degrees first. Okay, I'll just erase that. We'll put our degrees first. So this is now 60 degrees or pi over 3. Uh, so 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, which is the same thing as pi over 2. And then this will be 120 degrees or 4 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 pi over 3. Okay, uh, I'm going to see if you guys can finish the uh, multiples of the 30 degrees or the pi over 6. Uh, what I will do is I'll try to fill these in quietly without talking and so you can fill them out yourself or even better is to put pause right now and see if you can finish them yourselves. So you go ahead hit pause or just work without looking too much.
All right, now we've finished all those multiples of pi over 3. Uh, hopefully you got those okay. Now let's figure out the uh, x and the y coordinates. Uh, so we figured out the x and the y coordinates. We're going to do it in red already for our 0, 90, 180, and 270. Uh, but let's consider this uh, 30 degree one. Um, I'm going to use my highlighter here and then I'll erase it afterwards. But when our, we're thinking of this 30 degree triangle, it's really this triangle right here, isn't it? Right. So uh, here we get if this is 30 degrees, what that means is that this rotation here, this is where the 30 degrees is. It's this angle inside of there is 30 degrees, okay? Um, or pi over 6. So this is the same as our 30, 60, uh, 90 degree triangle, because this is our 90 degrees here. So since this hypotenuse is 1, and this is why I said let's do these um, triangles with a hypotenuse of 1 so that it works out for now. So uh, this side here will be root 3 over 2, and this side here will be 1 half. So this side of being root 3 over 2, that's my x-coordinate, isn't it? So this will be uh, root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So this is my x-coordinate and that's my y-coordinate. Okay, so uh, see if I can erase that stuff, okay, without erasing my lines too much. Uh, yeah, it works out not too bad, so my lines actually stay. All right, so now let's try the uh, 60 degree. And again, I'll use my highlighter here and we'll do, this will be my triangle. Okay, like that. Now my, uh, and I don't think you have to draw these triangles uh, on yours because it just might muck things up. Uh, sorry if you already do the other one because it's we're going to get a lot of things on here. So this is my 60 degrees here. So there's my 60 degrees. Uh, so this is 90. This will be my 30 degrees up here. So it's just like our previous triangle, except it got flipped around. This is still 1, so my two sides got switched. So rather than this being my root 3 over 2, this is my 1 half. And you can kind of see it, right? If that's 60 degrees, that does look like it's 1 half, right? Uh, root 3 over 2, as a decimal, by the way, is about uh, 0.866. So you can see, oh, that kind of makes sense. If this is a, a full 1, then this would be you know, your 0.866, and that is root 3 over 2. So my x value is 1 over 2, and my y value is root 3 over 2. Okay, again, I'm going to erase my crazy... Oops, i am try to erase. Bit of a lag time there. I will erase all this stuff here. Okay, let's see if we can finish up uh, all those values for my multiples of pi over 6. So we've got the first one done, our second one done, we actually have our third one done. So over here, um, it is even with this one, isn't it? So really we don't have to draw too many more triangles, but we can think, okay, it's going to have the same y value. right? It's going to have the same y value, so it's going to be root 3 over 2. So if I go here, we'll get a root 3 over 2 for my y value. And my x value, it's going to be exactly the same, except for now it's negative. Negative 1 half. So in uh, the first quadrant, the x and the y are positive. In the second quadrant, my x is negative and my y is positive. Uh, I'm just going to erase this stuff over here. Oops. Trying to erase. I'm going to erase this stuff over here so that I can uh, find a spot here for my x and my y value. So this x, x value here, uh, it'll be the same thing as this, except for this will be negative. So it's negative root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Okay, again, I'm going to just um, work quietly. What you should do is pause and then uh, come back and see how you did. I would like you to finish all the other multiples of your 30 degrees or pi over 6.
All right, so hopefully that went okay. Um, again, it's always, it's either going to be a half, or uh, comma root 3 over 2, or it's going to be root 3 over 2, comma half. Uh, if you remember that this is a value that's larger than a half, so this is the larger one, this is the smaller one, and if you need to do a little diagram of where the angle is, sometimes that helps. Let's do the uh, 45 degree ones now. So uh, this is 45 degrees here. And you'll recall from our triangle, when you do a 45 degree rectangle, or a triangle, pardon me, a 45, uh, since it has, has to add up to 180, uh, this is 9, oops, <laughs> that's 90 degrees, this will be 45, and this will also be 45. So this is the one where uh, the x and the y values are the same, and they work out to, uh, you can either say 1 over root 2, or you can say root 2 over 2. I prefer the root 2 over 2. And uh, you'll see one of the reasons why. So my x and the y values are the same. Uh, this is root 2 over 2, this is root 2 over 2, so there's how, what we get. And so this is an easy, even easier one to go around the circle and fill in the rest of them because it's always going to be root 2 over 2. You just got to pay attention to uh, which value is negative and which value is positive. So 45 degrees, 90 degrees. Oh, I forgot to put the radians, right? So 45 degrees. Oh, let's see if I can. I'll throw it in over here. So this would be, uh, well, what's between pi over 6 and pi over 3? It's pi over 4. Oh, it should be blue as well. What happens? I just do over top pi over four. Okay, so counting by pi over fours. Here's pi over four, two pi over fours, which is the same thing as pi over two, three pi over four. So this is a uh, hundred and thirty-five degrees, or three pi over four. I guess we should do all these ones first. Uh, this is a uh, 180 degrees. If we add another 45, here's 225 degrees. And counting by pi over 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi over 4. Uh, we've already got the 270, and then this is our last one. 270 plus 45, 315 degrees. In fact, when we think we could count all by pi over 4 as we're on the circle, or you could think, well, this is the same thing as um, 2 pi, which is... 8 pi over 4, and we have to backtrack one, so this is 7 pi over 4. Okay, now let's figure out what my x and my y coordinates are. Again, it's just always going to be root 2 over 2's. Uh, negative root 2 over 2 for the x value, positive root 2 over 2 for the y value. Alright, uh, so again, can you uh, finish these last, there's only two left, finish those last two, I'll work on it quietly, and then you can check and pause, all that good stuff. All right, so we have this is as far as we need to go in our unit circle. We have everything figured out, and um, if we look at the bottom of our page now, there were a few little questions here. Um, now look at the the way the notation is on this question. P of three pi over two. That means if the angle is three pi over two, and what we need to do is figure out what is the x and the y coordinate at three pi over two. So 3 pi over 2, we have to find it on oh, my messy writing here. It's the same thing as 270 degrees. So the answer is 0, comma, negative 1. Okay. Uh, P of 7 pi over 4. So here is my 7 pi over 4. So it's root 2 over 2, comma, negative root 2 over 2. Okay. So... Um, uh, well, I guess the good news is this is as, as complicated as we get. We don't do any other... We do the multiples of pi over 6, and we do the multiples of pi over 4. That's the good news. We don't go into pi over 12s and things like that. But the bad news is that you do not get this unit circle filled out for your quizzes and your tests. You've got to learn how to uh, answer, for example, what is 
p of 7 pi over 4 equal to and figure out those x and the y coordinates. Let's look at what's below here. The p is equal to negative 5 pi. So the best way to say this is can I convert this negative 5 pi into um, an angle which is between 0 and 2 pi? So you'll remember what we did is we, if you take negative 5 pi, it is coterminal uh, if we keep on adding 2 pi's. So the next one over would be uh, negative 3 pi. The next one over would be negative pi. The next one over would be pi. So each of these is uh, coterminal because what we've added is 2 pi each time. Okay, that's kind of messy, but uh, finally we get pi. So pi is over here. It's the same thing as 180 degrees. So negative 5 pi is going around negative, like, you know, 1, 2 and a half loops, but we still end up at the same place. So we get the same x and y coordinates. So we get negative 1, comma, 0. And similarly, for the negative 2 pi over 3, you can think, all right, negative 2 pi over 3, if I'm going to add 2 pi to that, that's the same thing as adding 6 pi over 3. So that would be giving me uh, 4 pi over 3. So 4 pi over 3, uh, where is that spot? 4 pi over 3 is over here, so it's the same as my 240 degrees. This is a 4, 4 pi over 3, so I get a negative 1 half, comma, negative root 3 over 2. And the x and the y's are both negative because we're in quadrant number 3. Alternatively, for this negative 2 pi over 3, you could think about kind of starting from 0 and going negative pi over 3. So where, remember that um, this is a pi over 6, so this is a pi over 3. So this is 1 pi o negative pi over 3. This is negative 2 pi over 3. So that would end you up, uh, leave you at the same spot. Um, for some reason, it didn't show up on this page, um, but we'll, later on we'll, we'll be exploring the fact that in any uh, x and y uh, spot, x squared plus y squared has to equal to 1. And the other cool thing is that on the unit circle, your x value is equal to the cos of the angle and your y is equal to the sine of the angle. Okay, uh, thank you very much.